video as smooth as I can. My nerves and anxiety have been on an all time high since yesterday to the point where I had a freaking um, anxiety attack at work. So um, I had let one of my coworkers know that I was um, that I was going out to the car to try to you know breathe it out to you know calm myself down and. She had let my boss know. I don't even, I don't, I couldn't even tell y'all how long I was outside. But, um, um, what happened yesterday in the neighborhood, just like, it took the, took a toll on me. It really did because you know, for one, having to see somebody's home, you know, just disappear to hear that people that you've, you know, talked to are no longer... no longer on this earth it just man it just like shocked my system so like I said I don't even know how long I was in the car when I came back inside I thought I was you know thought I was just ready to come back in there and um, you know go on with my work so I had put my music on to just try to try to uh, drown everything out. It was working, but then you know how somebody be like, "Hey, are you okay?" I'm that type of person. Don't ask me if I'm okay, cause I'll just the tears will just start falling don't ever ask don't ever ask nobody if they're okay because they'll tell you yeah but they not that's why I told my co-workers I was like don't don't say nothing to me I'm gonna try to you know try to breathe it out I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air you know I just I ended up hyperventilating in the car. I don't know for how long I my body was shaking and I was just trying to keep it together but the only thing that I guess you know kept it going was the thought that well the thought of the little girl that had passed and you know her grandmother and like I said them people losing their homes that's a lot and then I'm just at the same time while I'm trying to calm my nerves the little girl that passed Kiani and her had um, just became friends last week now she was 13 you know I Kiani 7 but you know I was watching them while they were playing on the playground the little girl she didn't mean no harm at all she just she was new to the neighborhood I think they had been there um three maybe four months and to know that not here and it's 
was like, how am I going to tell Kiani? Should I not tell her? What if somebody tells her? You know, how am I going to explain it to her? Kiani, she's just the type that... Oh my gosh, the child loves everybody. She just wants to be everybody's friend. And I remember just last week when we was... um at the playground I heard her as the little girl she was like do you want to be my friend and the little girl was like yeah I'll be your friend that's just that's how Kiani is and I'm just so thankful that you know we're still here but it just breaks my heart that you know Kiani had to witness that because she didn't see it up close but you know she saw the smoke and she was like mommy our house is burning and you know I had to explain to her that no that's not ours and you know but it just it, it made her sad to know that you know it was somebody else's home she didn't even know it was right now you probably wouldn't even understand it's just so many emotions and I don't know that's why I just you know I tell my family and my friends all the time even if they don't even say it back you know I love y'all I love y'all you just never know that could have easily been us and like I said I don't I don't know <clears throat> how I'm gonna break it down the pool or if I should even tell her at all she was devastated enough and crying yesterday. You know what I mean? But my boss, she, um, oh gosh. She, um, talked to the people in the HR. And she told me, she was like, you know, due to the circumstances and my reaction obviously they um told me I could I could go home or you know I could stay it was up to me so I had I stayed for a little bit but I mean I even with the music on my mind just couldn't focus my mind was just on that and it's like coming home and then you know looking across the street to have to see that it's it's messing with me and that's when I know it's going to come into play that Kiani is going to ask me about that little girl because she knows she stays there So I'm, I don't know, I'm going to go to my mama's house and just try to chill out, try to get myself together. I'm a, my sister's home, so that means the twins are there, so I just got to. I gotta get out that neighborhood. I don't the way I've been feeling these last couple days. I just man. But I'm I'm 
gonna try to play some music and get myself together, but please, when I tell y'all to tell your family, even if y'all, I don't care if y'all fighting, haven't talked to each other in the longest time, and you've got beef with your friends that you haven't talked to for the longest, but you know, you just feel in your heart that whoever needs to forgive whoever and you know just man let bygones be bygones and just love each other man it's not hard i swear and then it'll just it'll just make you feel so much better on the inside we don't have one life always say that we don't have but one life so tell your tell your family man you love them give them hugs go call them check on them that shit go a long way trust me when I tell you but y'all be good and next time, hopefully, when y'all see me, I'll have a smile. I'm going to smile now, but, you know, maybe, hopefully, it, I, it will. My smile will be brighter the next time. I love y'all.